What is up, everybody? It's your boy Jay Dimes. We are back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants banger. And today we're going to be talking about Brian Dable and him being the top candidate for the Giants head coaching job. But before we do all that, make sure you have a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the game. Now let's hop into this. Last night's game was probably the greatest game I've ever seen. I've been watching football for what, about 10 years. So correct me if I'm wrong. If you know any other games that were better than that one, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll go check them out. But Bills Chiefs, Bills Chiefs divisional round 2022 had to be the greatest game I've ever seen. Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, you know, these guys are just battling back and forth. You know, and it really did come down to the wire. It came down to the wire. All right. Patrick Mahomes goes down there and has 13 seconds and he gets them in field goal range. Harrison Bucker makes the field goal, goes to overtime, and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey ends the game. But Josh Allen played a hell of a game. Patrick Mahomes played a hell of a game. I had to get that out the way before we hop into this. But Brian Dable, last night's game, if that didn't sell you on Brian Dable or at least convince you on why Brian Dable is getting so much talk and so much heat about being the Giants head coach that game it, I don't know what game you were watching I really don't and it's some Giants fans on Twitter that are having mixed reviews or or, or having rebuttals on Brian Dable as the head coach and I understand some of them some of them first are saying that he's a rookie head coach who'll be a rookie head coach and I understand that but before Kyle Shanahan got to the Niners, was he ever a head coach? And the Niners are about to be playing in the NFC Championship game, possibly going to another Super Bowl. All right. Was Sean McVay a head coach before he went to the Rams? No, he was not. He was not. He was not a head coach of a football team before he went to the Rams. Kyle Shanahan was not a head coach of a football team before he went to the Niners. They, they weren't. And where are those teams now? Both of them teams are going to be fighting to go to the championship, go to the Super Bowl. All right, so the the argument that he's a rookie head coach, we did that with Ben McAdoo, we did that with we did that with um, Pat, Mich Pat Pat Shermer, Joe Judge. I understand all of it. I understand that, but we can't let the past experience scare us from from giving it out this a chance. You know, one thing that is different from Ben McAdoo, what's different from Pat Shermer and Joe Judge is those teams were ran by Dave Gettleman. Those teams were ran by the guy who put the Giants behind the eight ball. Those, those, those teams were ran by a guy who took a running back at second overall. All right. It, it, it's different. We have Joe Shane. Now, Joe Shane's yet to prove to any of us that he's a good GM. You know, we hope he's a good GM. We are praying to God that he's a good GM. We think he's going to be a good GM, but he has yet to prove us that he'll take, he'll do any of the things that Dave Gettleman did. All right. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. And Joe Shane and Brian Dable have history. Those guys are, are as of right now, well, not are, because Joe Shane's already the gym of the Giants, but those guys were, you know, Joe Shane helped build the blocks and freaking Brian Dable create the inside of the house, basically, in Buffalo, you know? And another argument I am hearing is that Josh Allen is the reason why the uh, Bills office is so good. And I can't say you're wrong. I watched that game. I've watched Josh Allen ever since he came out as a rookie. I didn't think Josh Allen was going to be this good. I didn't. I did not think he was going to be this talented. But he is amazing. He's amazing. So, yes, I understand the argument that Josh Allen is the main reason why the Bills offense is like this. But do you know a guy who was basically mentoring or, can I say, helped the development of Josh Allen? It's Brian Dable. Brian Dable, and I don't want to hype this guy up like he's going to be the next great thing or anything like that, but he was. He was the guy who helped build Josh Allen to who he is, and I don't want to take nothing away from Josh Allen. Yes, he improvises a lot. He improvises a lot, but let me break down. Let me break some of this down to you. Cole Beasley, Cole Beasley, former Dallas Cowboy, had his best statistical season as a Buffalo Bill. You know who the offense coordinator was when that happened? Brian Dable. John Brown who was still on the Bills, but it's probably the fifth string wide receiver now when you got Stephon Diggs, Gabriel Davis, who got four touchdown passes, who Joe Shane was and helped Brian didn't being drafted, all right? He also had his best career in Brian Dable's scheme. 
Stephon Diggs had 1,500 yards last year. Or can I say two years ago now? Yeah, two years ago. All right? But John Brown, like I was giving back to John Brown, had his best statistical season as a Buffalo Bill. You can look it up. You can look it up. All three of these wide receivers had their best career years when they went to the Buffalo Bills. All right? And I'm not going to say all that because of Brian, uh, of Brian Day, but I'm not going to say all that. Josh Allen, like I said, he is amazing. We know he's probably the best quarterback in the league right now. After last night's game, even though he lost, he kind of proved to me that he's the best quarterback in the league right now. All right? And I understand, like I said, rookie head coach. Never been a head coach before. We've seen what happened to Pat Sherman. We've seen what, been, what happened to Ben McAdoo. We've seen what happened to Joe Judge. I understand all of that. But with Joe Shane being the GM, I feel like he knows what he's getting in Brian Dable. Dave Gettleman never knew what he was actually getting in Joe Judge. He didn't. He didn't know if he was going to be calling the plays. We didn't find that out until, what, after they had hired Patrick Graham or something like that? I'm not sure. But we know that Brian Dable comes here. He's going to be calling the plays. And he's a pretty good damn play caller. And I'm not going to say that he's going to take Daniel Jones and make Daniel Jones into something that he's not. This is the part that I really want y'all to listen to. I'm not going to come here, come up here and say that he's going to make Daniel Jones into a Pro Bowl quarterback, MVP quarterback. I'm not going to say he's going to come out here and make him Josh out. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that at all. But... Who's to say that he can't make Daniel Jones at least look how he looked in his rookie year? Who's to say that? All right. If Brian Dable's calling the plays and the quarterback isn't getting it done, it's more about the quarterback than it is Brian Dable, all right? And that's just fact. I love Daniel Jones. That's my guy. I hope he is here for the future. But who's to say he's going to be our quarterback in 2022? That's what a lot of people are thinking. They're thinking that... Brian Dable's going to come here and turn Daniel Jones into something. Who's to say that Daniel Jones is going to be here in 2022? He has neck damage, structural neck damage right now. We're worrying about him being good under Brian Dable. Who's to say he's going to be able to play? We got to think about this. And I love Daniel Jones. I don't want us to draft the quarterback in this year's draft. Next year's draft, after this year, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it all plays out. But right now, we cannot be thinking... Don't bring in Brian Dale because he's not going to be able to turn Daniel Jones to Josh Allen. I don't want him to turn Daniel Jones to Josh Allen. I just want him to mentor Daniel Jones into not turning over the ball. Pocket awareness. And using him how he should be used. If Brian Dable comes up here as head coach, I think the first thing he's going to know is Daniel Jones is a pretty good damn deep ball thrower. Let's scheme up some plays for the deep ball. Kenny Galladay is a pretty good 50-50 guy. Let's scheme up some plays to give him 50-50 chances. Kadarius Tony. Now, this is the part that really gets me. I watched Debo Samuel all year. And I looked. And when I when the Giants drafted Kadarius Tony, I gave him the Debo Samuel comparison. What we see Debo Samuel, what we see what Debo Samuel does, Kadarius Tony can do that. Even throwing the football. Even throwing it. Because Debo Samuel, can, he can launch it. He can launch it. But when I see Kadarius Tony and I think of Brian Dable, Brian Dable would know how to use a guy like Kadarius Tony. He would know how to use him. He would know that Kadarius Tony with the ball in his hands is a problem. Even Saquon, with Joe Shane as GM, I feel like he was going to be smart enough and know. I really do feel like Joe Shane would see that this offense line needs help. Draft an offensive lineman. Draft two offensive linemen. Tyler Linderbaum, Ikeem, Evan Neal, Charles Cross to help out Saquon. And then Brian Dable, use Saquon in the best way he can. All right? So that's just my thoughts on the whole thing. I know it's some fans that are skeptical about Brian Dable. I know it's some fans that love Brian Dable. Right now, I like Brian Dable as the head coach of the Giants. I like it. The Giants offense was horrible last year. Bringing an offensive mastermind or so-called offensive mastermind or bringing a guy who's proven that he can lead an offense as an offensive coordinator now to what? Top five. All right. That's all I want to see. And I think that Brian Dibble could do that with Joe Shane's general managing, with him, with his roster building and Brian Dable's mind of how to run an offense. I feel like this is a perfect match for the Giants. I feel like it's a perfect match. So drop down below in the comment section what you guys think. Leave a comment, like. Hit the subscribe button. And until then, it's Big Boy J. Dimes. Love you boys. We are out. Go Giants. We out. Hey.